this has been the two two main reads as of the last few weeks um, this majority Tim Grover's new book winning Tim Grover wrote the book Relentless I'm sure many people have heard of it's been like in my opinion the best book ever ever uh, written for sort of sports psychology high performance actually I wouldn't even say, I wouldn't even call it sports psychology I would say I would say an insight into the mindset of the best of all time and Tim Grover was the coach of Michael Jordan one of his first like physical therapists mindset coaches and then went on to coach Kobe Bryant Dwayne Wade um, and this is his second book came out last year and it is fucking it is just unbelievable it's called Winning the Unforgiven Race to Greatness and I mean that's what it's about it's about how fucking how success and how chasing greatness and winning has a cost and how it has how it can fuck a lot of things up in your life and there's also there's basically no such thing as balance whenever you're chasing that one and you're chasing you're chasing greatness and you're chasing that victory and you're chasing world titles so i can relate an awful lot to this book because it's it's no uh it's no five step plan to success or five steps to fucking and it's it's raw it's real it's this is what happens this is what has happened to some of the best in the world this is how they've overcome it and this is how unbreakable their, unbreakable their mindsets are and it's just something i relate to a lot and that's why i love books like this throughout camp i am going to get a diet that's actually why i'm fucking letting it go long because i'm going to diet probably next week and then get it cut nice and short nice you had to see cattle huh you had to see cattle see cattle my man always does it for me but usually i dye my hair after the fight but this time we're going in early because i like it i feel good when i've got my hair i feel like such a i don't know like a woman or something when i do that i would get my hair dyed and feel better but when you're in camp everything is very monotonous and you're doing the same shit you're eating fucking red peppers as a snack every day it gets monotonous so yeah get the hair dyed why the fuck not This is very important, this fight. This is unbelievably important to get the win because like, although I am the world champion, I see myself as the champ, this removes all doubt. And my mantra for this camp has been undeniable. I want to make this undeniable when I finish Jordan. I'll av avenge the only loss of my record, taking out all the best guys in Europe, and I will be undeniable. I'm expecting a completely different Jordan to be completely honest. I'm expecting the best by an absolute mile. I'm absolutely expecting that because that's what I'll be coming in with and I'm sure he's been working hard. I know he's been working hard at the end of the day. He's a, he's a, he's a great fighter. He's a game fighter. And yeah, I'm expecting a world-class Jordan Buchanich in, in March 18th. So yeah, the work's being put in here now. Six weeks. Uh, first class of the night. This is the ground and pound class. So it sort of goes between cage wrestling and ground and pound. So whatever, sort of. We've been working on the cage stuff, so perhaps are going to be switching it up tonight, I'm not too sure. Um, yeah, it's such a good class, get an extra about an hour and a half strong then before wrestling starts. It's essential, like it's a good class. And it's, we sort of, we play around with stuff, do you know what I mean? It's not a set, it's not a set thing. It's, uh, we have an idea, we play around with it, we see what's working well for people. We try it out throughout the week, and then we come back and we sort of analyze it in this class, so. It's pretty simple, I mean, my whole life, every single thing I do is, for better performance and fighting. That's everything in my life. Everything else is secondary. And just the ultimate growth mindset, that's just, I'm just constantly analyzing every single session, every day. Did them three sessions work in the correct order this day? Like, to the finest detail, I'm looking for optimization because I want to be the best in the world. It's very simple, and to do that, you have to be obviously very self-aware but yeah you, you have to be very critical as well and i think that's what i am i'm my own biggest critic and that's why i improve at such i guess such big levels in short periods of time first session bro. first session done just drilling just drilling always very lethargic in these sessions need a bit of adrenaline to get me fucking going at this point of the week it's thursday it's always tired always tired so in fact, I've been actually fucking taking naps. I've been lying in that cage for like 15 minutes in between the classes for the last few weeks. Just because we've got a wee bit of time to wait, so yeah. It's, it's really as simple. It's 
it is who is willing to sacrifice and give up more of their life and just become the person they need to be in order to to reach, I guess, the pinnacle and be the absolute best in the world in the hardest sport in the world. It's unforgiven and it just requires it requires your entire being. And there is also a cost. There is a cost that isn't that isn't nice and you have to be willing to pay it. It's not all fine and dandy. It's not there is a cost, but I am willing to pay it. I have paid some of it. I've got more debt to pay, I'm sure, throughout my career, but I'm willing to do that to actualize my dream and to achieve the goal that I set for myself. Fight Academy is just unbelievable at the minute. It's it's amazing. It's just the culture, it's the facility as well. We've got everything we need. We've got all the classes we need. Absolutely everything is covered in our gym. All you gotta do is put the work in. Do you know what I mean? It's all there for you. Over three years now I've been part of the gym. Um, I trained there before I joined full time, before I was traveling and stuff. I had trained with Pat and done his wrestling classes. Always loved it. I mean, we know Pat's the man, like. But oh, it's been it's been an amazing three years, I must say. And the just the la the last year has been incredible. Joe getting the world title, myself getting the world title, and Shando starting cage conflict as well. It's been ah, oh, it's it's very exciting. Like and just it's it's showing in the results. I mean, the progression of all the guys in the gym from day one beginner to the guys competing in amateur, to the guys that are now turning pro, like like Paddy and boys like that. It's actually ridiculous. Like I look at likes of young Michael, young Damien, who I was training with today. They're like 16, 17. And the level is just absolutely absurd. Like it's, it's genuinely insane. Like it's scary. Like I think about when I was that age, and it's, it's not even like a comparable thing. Like me probably joining Fight Academy three years ago, they would absolutely batter. And I'm not joking, and that's me already tr fighting professionally. It's unbelievable. Like the the progression is just insane. Like, and sometimes we forget it because we're all just training together so much. You f you don't really see the level until you maybe train with somebody you've never trained with before, or another gym, and you go, "Holy shit, we are on another level here." Like we really are. And yeah, it's it's a very exciting time at Fight Academy. And yeah, I hope to be leading that charge into the UFC and just have a flood of guys behind me coming through. When you define winning, most people say, oh, it's, it's glorious, it's fame, it's money, it's, and it is them things in a very small sense, but really what winning is, is the fucking grind and getting it after it every single day and doing the things that people don't want to do. It's the unforgiving race, because that's the first thing I thought when he said winning, I just thought, of, tough, unforgiving. Like people just see, they just see the small, small snapshots of you getting your hand raised in the belt and the five rounder and the fun and the, and the fame. Like they, they see these things and they think, ah, oh, well that's, that's easy for them. Do you know what I mean? They've got amazing coaches, they've got all these, all this help, but it is just, it is an unforgiving race. It's an unforgiving game. There's a massive cost to winning and you have to be willing to pay it. <laughs> Every camp you learn so much, you refine details coming into the next one, you learn about peaking, you learn about sparring, when's the optimal time for me to spar, fueling strategies for training, like all these little 1% things that I always talk about that do compound and make massive differences. I feel like they have compounded and I, I really feel like, that's why I feel like this elite, elite, elite level that, I, that I'm at physically of course, but mentally, not that I, I was always co content mentally, but I just feel, I feel like a fucking man. I feel elite and my confidence is just unshakable at this point for, from coming out and getting that belt in some circumstances leading up to, in, in sort of last year in general, especially the second, the second half of last year, some circumstances made it incredibly difficult to keep doing what I'm doing and I fucking conquered it and I, w I just, I, I can't be stopped after that, I cannot be stopped after that, it's just another layer of callus in the mind, it's just another level of mindset, as I say, I just feel elite now, I feel totally, completely unbreakable and I will show that in six weeks when I will, I will be undeniable and I will run through him.
I fell his office Friday. Early last week, I suffered a neck injury, and unfortunately, I have not been able to recover in time. As you'd imagine, with a fight of this magnitude, pulling out was not an option on my mind, so I spent the time doing everything I possibly could to rehab the injury and get back in the gym. I just viewed it as another obstacle and another test that I would eventually overcome, as hard as it was. I have had the best camp I've ever had by a landslide, and I couldn't have possibly been more ready to go in and perform next week.